In this video we're going to look at measuring angles. We're going to measure an acute angle, an obtuse angle and a reflex angle. Uh, to do that you're going to need your protractor. So, uh, firstly let's have a look at measuring this acute angle. So whenever you're measuring an angle, first of all just double check which part they want to measure. So as you can see here it's got the arc so therefore we need to measure inside this part here. Okay. So, put your cross of your protractor, see this cross, on the point and then put the zero, see the line with the zero, see this line here at the bottom, put that along the angle with the line. So as you can see here, I've got the angle, the cross there, and I've got the zero on the line. So if I measure this, as you can see, it goes round. Now as you notice, know, zero is here, so you're gonna go round. But let's just line this up a bit better. So you've got zero on the line, and you're gonna go round on the inside. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees. So as you can see, it's a 50 degree angle. So it's 50 degrees. Okay, so let's measure this obtuse angle. So again, get your protractor and put the cross, the protractor here, on the angle, on the point of the angle. And then put the zero on the line segment. Okay, so as you can see, I've put the protractor, the cross, on the point, and I've put the zero along the line segment. And then let's measure the obtuse angle. Now this time, obviously zero's on the line here, so it's on the outside. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Notice we've gone past the right angle, so that's where we're going past 90. 100, 110, 120, 130. Okay, now, as you can see, it goes 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that angle there is 135 degrees. Okay, this time we're going to measure the reflex angle. So that's the large angle here. Now obviously this angle is going to be bigger than 180, okay, but less than 360. Now there's two ways to do this. What you can do is you can measure the, the acute angle, this part of the angle, or this angle, and you can take it away from 360. Alternatively, we're going to look at how to use um, your ruler and we'll uh, measure it that way. So, firstly, in this video we're going to do it both ways. So, firstly, what we're going to do is just get your ruler lined up. You see this very accurately. Actually, first thing is, make sure your ruler's are over. So. Okay. What I've done is I've carried on this line segment and I have made an extended line. This means that the angle down here is 180 degrees, so this part is 180. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this angle and add it on to 180. So I put zero along this line here, and I'm going to count around all the way around to the angle. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Uh, this time it goes past the 135 to 136. Okay, so this angle here is 136 degrees. So if I add the 136 and the 180, you'll find the total size of the reflex angle. So 180 plus 136. is 316 degrees. So the angle is altogether 316 degrees. Now there's another way to do that. And the other way to do that is to measure this part here. If you measure this part and take it away from 360, you'll then find out the size of the reflex angle. So let's measure the acute angle. So if we measure the acute angle, it is uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 44 degrees. So this is 44 degrees in here. So if we take the 44 degrees away from the 360, so 360 subtract 44, you get 316, which again is the size of the large reflex angle.